we got another video for our scrapbook over here. So let's add a quad. So now we have this area and we're gonna scale this down. I wanna project this over one of the chairs. It's a pretty um, diff difficult objective considering that these chairs are very intricate. So how are we gonna do this? Well, the answer is mesh warping. So over here, instead of clicking mask, we're gonna select mesh warping and then several um, options will show up. And what we're gonna do is we're going to zoom, we're gonna zoom in, we're gonna zoom in a little bit more just so that we can be a little bit more precise with this. And you can see the subdivisions. The subdivisions are where lines are gonna be created. So for example, um, I'm gonna put three lines by three lines since we're all video students. We're familiar with rule of thirds. So let's do that. And then I'm gonna show you here and a little option that is show mesh grid. And so it actually will show you the grid here. And then by putting down the opacity, now we can actually see the chair. And I'm gonna start moving these points. So as you can see, you're actually it's almost like fabric. What I'm gonna show you next here is that these, it can actually become more precise or less precise based on how you um, arrow up or down your precision. So. If you look at the grid, if you pay attention to the grid while I'm going down on the precision, you're going to see that the grid becomes more and more simple. And then if I go up on it, it's going to get way more complex and you can actually add obviously more nodes to it by adding the subdivision. So we could even subdivide this more and more and more. But I'm going to try to keep this as simple as we possibly can. So I'm going to take it down to about six. Okay, so now we have mapped the chair. As you can see, it needs a little masking over here. So we can go ahead and um, click the mask. Now, as you can see up here, when I got closer to this top area, it got a little dicey. So another setting that you can use is the bezure curve. If you don't know what a bezure cur curve, it's it's used a lot in um, in Illustrator with the pen tool, and also you see it in uh, Photoshop as well. But if you have the bezure uh, option selected, when you select these points, you can actually adjust this as if it were a curve. So do you see how now we're actually you see how it's 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 curving with this line that I'm pulling in and out. So you can get very precise. Let's zoom out. And now we see that we have successfully projected on a chair as well as on the wall.